Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech question, of course, everything technology related. Now, before we start the video, I j before I start the video, I just want to say if I start coughing, choke, or fall over and die, it's because I'm sick. So just letting you know. Uh, so don't mind the coughing. Sorry if it gets annoying. Uh, anyway, I just, I'm testing out a new way to record these videos. As you notice, the chat's gone, and so is the bar and the date. Uh, just testing this out. I'm using QuickTime Broadcaster to record this locally. Uh, so I am not live right now, even though I just said I was. Anyway, so I received a question from Aaron, uh, and I, I, this question is one that I get a lot. Um, it's, you know, and it's the common, common question of PC or Mac. Now, I, re I really don't like to touch on the subject too much because it starts a lot of debate and even flames, flame wars, um, especially online. But I figured I would cover the topic just you know once and be done with it. Um, now, when you, when you think about PC versus Mac, a lot of people get really heated. Uh, and I just want to say that, here, it sounds very cliche, but this is so true, it's personal preference as to which one you use. And... Ideally, in, a, in like a perfect world, I think everyone should try at least try both at least once, and maybe even throw Linux in there too, or Unix, or any or FreeBSD or something. You got to try them all to see which one you like. I mean, honestly, there's there's a lot of different Linux distributions. There's Windows, and there's uh, there's Vista Seven XP, which I don't really recommend anyone use anymore, even though it's pretty solid still. Just the it's just so think about it. It's so old. It's half my age. That's crazy. It's almost, it's like 10 years old and people still use it. That's ancient in technology. And I'm not that old, but I'm, I mean, I'm 20, but I'm not ancient. Um, so I recommend you check out 7. Uh, skip Vista if, if you missed it. Don't worry about it. Uh, but in terms of PC versus Mac, the heart, the, heart of the, uh, the heart of the debate lies when you have your Windows guys and you have your Apple guys, your OS X guys. And honestly, I, I like both. Uh, if I'm going to recommend one over the other, it really depends on you, on you personally. What do you plan to do with the computer? Uh, are, are, you con are you constantly getting possibly infected with viruses, trojans, other malware? Uh, that no matter what you do, even if you you know you think you're really trying to stay you know stay clean of these infections, but no matter what you do, uh, it seems to be a problem. As of right now, OS 10 doesn't have nearly um, the amount of uh, exploits, viruses, trojans out there for it, so it may be a better bet for you. Uh, usually, for college students, I recommend it uh, OS 10, a Mac, um, simply because they have less problems in the long run, and, and especially when it's well, you can't be dealing with uh, infections and things like that. And also, you have the same basic software that you do on Windows, so you have your browser, Firefox. Now Chrome has, co has come out with a new beta, Google Chrome. Uh, which has some additional features. You have um, Safari. Uh, you ha you don't have Internet Explorer, but you know not everyone likes that. I mean, I personally don't use it. I know people who do, and that they say it's fine. Uh, if you and if you know what you're doing, for the most part, you can use IE. It's just a matter of preference. Again, uh, <clears throat> on the PC side, and you have Office, you have iWork. You know, you have all your tools that you may need in school. Um, so that's nice. If you have an iPod, it makes you know iTunes runs a little bit better on OS 10 than I've seen, and that's probably an Apple marketing things to get people over there. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, on Windows, you have the same stuff, and for the basic user, honestly, there really isn't much much difference at all, aside from the fact that you know it, it takes a little bit more to get infected on OS 10 currently. Currently, mind you, uh, that could change in the future if OS 10 starts gaining market share. But I really don't think Apple's out to gain market share on the operating system market. They have so many other things they're looking to do, especially with mobile. Uh, I just don't see them pushing. I mean, it'd be nice. Yeah, sure, nice if Apple gains some market share in the operating system market. People buying more Macs, but that's not their main goal. I mean, I don't think their focus is software at all. Uh, but that's besides the point. So again, it's really up to you, uh, you the user. What do you need to do if you're? I mean. There's plenty of good video editing and photo editing software on the, on the PC. Uh, there, of, of course, you don't have Final Cut or um, what's the other one? Uh, you don't have you know the basic. You don't have iMovie on uh, on a PC, which is nice for basic editing. I mean, it's not like phenomenal 
software. It's not like the best editing video editing software, but it's pretty good video editing software for for me. I mean, I use it. it works for me. I don't even have Final Cut. iMovie's nice. It's a step up from Movie Maker for sure, which I think they dropped anyway. Um, so it has iPhoto. It, ha it has all these these built-in uh, software if you buy it directly or if not then you have to get the iLife package but it has all this nice software that comes bundled with it which is nice for users I mean they, they like to be able to manage their photos and edit their video you know and um, just start right out of the box whereas on Windows I've seen <clears throat> sorry you have to you know you down you have to find your software I mean if you already know what you're looking for that's great you're one step ahead um, but the bundle, in terms of bundled software, uh, there's not as much on the Windows side right out of the box. I know Microsoft tried to do it, uh, but they kind of failed in that aspect. But, you know, happens. Um, so there's plenty of good video editing software on the PC side, though, like Sony Vegas. Uh, you, have a, you have the Adobe Premiere, which is all, I think also has a Mac version. But you have a lot of good editing software on the PC side. And for a low end, check out Pinnacle um, if you're looking to do video editing on the PC. They have a great... Uh, small, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty inexpensive uh, suite for video editing. Like I said, it's com everything's comparable. Uh, it's it's really to it's, we're at the point now in computers where there really isn't much difference uh, aside from just the platform itself. The software is plentiful on both on both platforms. It's just a matter of what you like. Uh, if you're looking at software, that's the that's the software side. If you're looking at the hardware side, yes, uh, the prices are a little higher on the Apple side. Um, you get you don't get I mean the technology that's out now. Uh, I know they're looking to upgrade the MacBook Pro line to an i5 and i7 models and drop the core to duos. Um, so in that sense, you pr you can get a better PC laptop. You get more value for less um, in terms of the hardware. Uh, so that's one nice thing about PCs. If you're on a budget, some, you know, sometimes Apple products are out of a lot of college students' reach, but they do have that, that, that discount program for students and also developers, which is nice. So you should always look into that, too, if you're looking to get a Mac and you're not sure about the price. If you qualify, your school may, have a quali may be qualified to get you a discount. Uh, that's another thing. So pricing on hardware, sometimes you don't get as much bang for your buck, I would say, on the Apple side of things. You have to spend a little bit more to get that. Uh, in terms of RAM pricing, I know a lot of people make a big deal about that. Apple's RAM is pretty expensive uh, for you know what it is. Uh, you can get the same thing at OWC uh, for cheaper um, than at Apple.com. So again, no matter which way you go, you're always going to be balancing. You're going to be doing a balancing act, trying to find the right um, system for you is, is a tedious task. And if you have any questions in terms of finding the right system, why you should go with Apple, why you should go with Windows 7 on a PC. You know, it's, it's really uh, a tough decision, but it, if you have specific questions, uh, more, more so than just PC or Mac, send me an email, jeff at besttechie.net, or you can uh, send me a message on YouTube. I don't always get a chance to reply to those, but I always reply to email as soon as I can. Um, so send me an email, check out my forums, besttechie.net slash forums if you want, and uh, we'll help you out. It's a very common question. I just thought I'd do this video to clear up any confusion. I am not, uh, I'm not what they call a fanboy for Apple, but I, I mean, I do like Apple products. I'm not going to deny it, but I also do like Windows and PCs. I, I recommend Windows 7. It's a great operating system. Anyway, thanks again for watching. This has been not so live. Best Until next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.